Welcome to the program. So excited to be with you on today. Well, the stock market is just going through so many things. It's so volatile, but I want you to understand you can still win. And so today I'm going to be talking about some of the stock plays that we've been watching to see their support and resistance levels. Make sure you understand what that means so that we're ready when it becomes our time to really jump in and make these buys. I believe we're going to have an interesting week this week, and I wanted to get this up before the markets opened on today, but I want you to understand what we're looking at when we're talking about, are we ready to jump in? Well, let's get after it. Well, like I said today, I want to share with you some of the backdrop. I said I'd be talking about some specific companies. I've got some foundational plays that I'm very, very committed to <clears throat> that are in difficulty right now. And most of the stock market is having difficulty. Uh, if you've watched my last video, uh, we're seeing most everything down and down big many below their 50-day moving average, many below their 200-day moving average, almost 67%. That's a lot. And so we're coming to a place where purchasing is going to be prime. It's going to be the perfect time to do it, but we want to understand certain things as we get into it. And so one of the things that you have to understand is support and resistance. Now, support is the price level at which demand is thought to be too strong or strong enough to prevent the price from going further down. That's when you've got support. So there is a place where we think by checking the charts, you can see that demand is thought to be high here and the price won't drop below that. We can get some support there. But then you've also got resistance and resistance is the price level where selling is thought to be so very strong that it will prevent the price from going any higher. So when I look at companies and look at the charts and I talk about several things, it's very, very important to uh, talk about these things. And so I want to look at this on today uh, to just make a little sense of what we're talking about here. Uh, if we look right now at the chart, we're looking at Apple. And I've put some things on this Apple chart that uh, are important to help us understand because what I'm listing here in red is support levels and in blue is resistance levels. And so what I want to do first, though, I want to talk about volume because something very, very unique was happening as I'm going to show you these charts. Something very unique was happening on Friday uh, this past week as it relates to volume. When we look at Apple and its volume, Apple's volume was on Friday, 122.85 million shares. Now, the reason why this is so um unique is because the average volume for Apple is 85.68 million. So we were actually 45% higher, 45, 46% higher volume on Friday, and it was a sell-off. If you look, I talked about this in my video, uh, the last video about the MACD and the signal line. The MACD is, has crossed over the signal line back on December the 17th, and it's gone back and forth a little bit, but we come down now, and the MACD is clearly uh, below that signal line. It's negative 1.09. It's below the signal line, which tells us the price action is going down. The trend is down. That's just not good, uh, but we're in a downward trend. You can look at the price, and you can see a downward trend is happening. The RSI shows you a downward trend is happening. The RSI is at 35.29. We're almost in oversold territory when we get to 30. But let's look at the support resistance levels. Now, right now, we see a support level at 162.50 for Apple. Around 162.50, 162.40, 30, somewhere in that range, we see support. So this week, uh, when we open up, we know we're going to have some challenges there because we're at 162.41 and support is right near this level. Just a little bit below that level right now, right close to that. Are we going to go through that level of support or not? The next level of support uh, for Apple is down at 150.57. 
So are we going to go past this first line of support and hit this second line of support? That's what we're looking at to see, do we hit a place of support and we see the stock begin to come back through? Or are we in such a downtime convergence of all things going on in the market that we're gonna to continue to pass through these support levels and we're gonna to continue to see this thing trend downward. Now, resistance, we've got resistance for this at 172.86. And so uh, that's a resistance level. So when Apple begins to come up, we're gonna be looking to see when we get near 172.86, are we gonna cross over it into therefore going on uh, to new levels uh, in this time frame that we're looking at or whether we will not see that happen. Let's look at the Tesla um, chart uh, because this is a very, very similar chart that I want to talk about. We look at the volume. Tesla's average volume is 25.93 million, but on uh, Friday, let's get the actual number. It was 34.47 million, 34.47 million or 50% more than what the norm is. So we, we were seeing high volume and things are trending in the wrong direction. The MACD is trending below the signal line. The RSI is trending below. It's 39.47. We're going in the wrong direction. So we've got two levels of support for Tesla and one level of resistance. Our support, the first level of support uh, for Tesla, let's get these per perfectly. I want you to be able to see this. Um, but for Tesla, our support, First one is 90, I mean 927.51. So when we get around 927.51, uh, that's a support level. Now that matters big because we're at 943.90. So we could get some support if that price comes down. Will we go past it or not? We're going to see this week if we go past that one. The second level of support is at 876.32. Around 876.32, we've got more support in that range. And will we go past that? in this downward trend that we're in. So we're looking, we're not just uh, just doing things. There are reasons why you make a move one way or the other, but we also have resistance here at 972.51. We're seeing resistance. So 972.51 is resistance. So if that begins to go up, we're gonna see if we go back past that 972.51. And if so, we can see something pretty positive happening. Now, I wanna show you something that's a little bit weird to see. Uh, this is Square. And what's weird about it is that Square has gone to a place where there is no support. There is no historical support in the last year for the area in which Square is in. So we can see volume for Square is typically 11 million. It was a little bit higher than that on Friday, but we're trending downward where the signal line has crossed over, I mean, the MACD has crossed over the signal line in a downward trend. The RSI is 20.66. That's 10 points below over bought, oversold. And we're seeing the price action consistently coming down. So we're not going in a good area. Now we do have resistance for this at 128.79. We've got resistance there. And so we'll see, can it turn around and go past that 128.79 range, but there is no support. So there's nothing historically to say, well, we think that demand would be great enough right here that uh, it would push this back up. We're in uncharted territories when it comes to Square. I'll just show you some of these uh, charts that uh, this is AMD and we look at AMD. AMD has a support line and a resistance line. It has support at 115.90. Right now it's at 118.81. It's got support at 115.90. If we drop down to that level, we're gonna see if we're gonna get support, go back up, or we're gonna go past it. If you look at the volume, it was higher than its average on Friday. It is trending downward. The RSI is down almost below where you wanna be in the oversold territory. Price action is coming down. Everything is moving down. This is not one company. As you can see, I'm showing you multiple companies, different sectors, and the same thing is happening to them. We've got support there. We've got resistance at 121.80. We're gonna see what happens. If we get a turnaround, will we go past 121.80? It's been a minute. Uh, things are moving in a negative direction for AMD. 
and this is what we want to look at. Let's look at Microsoft, and we're just going to look at the chart for Microsoft because I want you to see that there was something that was pretty serious for Microsoft that happened on Friday. It's 57.98 million shares were traded. That's 132% more than norm. You can see we're in a downward trend. This volume is through the roof. When the norm is 32 million, we were at 57 million. And here we see the trend lines showing us that we're in a negative trend. We're almost in oversold territory. So we should see a turnaround. We should see it uh, as it relates to Microsoft. Price action is coming down. We're looking to see what's going to happen there. We see the same thing with VOO. High, I mean, tremendously high volumes. It was 16.23 million. It's normally 5 million. Here you're seeing 7 million norm. We're talking about 200% more than the norm volume for VOO on Friday. This is why I'm saying to you there's a lot going on right now by virtue of what's happening with the Fed. So what I'm saying to you and showing you this, I want you to see that this is just not uh, something that just accidentally happens that uh, someone says, well, we're going to go with this company. We're buying it now. We're going to sell now. Now, there are indicators that help us know whether we're at a good buy opportunity or sell opportunity. Right now, I've showed you Apple, Tesla, Square, AMD, Microsoft, VOO, and they are all trending downward. Everything is going in the same direction. Now, McDonald's has a little divergence going on, but everything that I showed you today is trending in the same direction. A lot of them have some support that we're going to see whether or not they pass through support so far. They've been passing through every support level that there has been for these companies and continuing this downward trend. This is when you know this is by virtue of what's happening globally and what's happening with equities across the board and crypto is the result of the Fed, inflation, uh, supply chain issues, more people filing for unemployment, uh, the CPI numbers being high. This is a convergence of many things happening. But what it is setting us up for is a perfect buy opportunity. And so the reason why I'm going to be extremely checking because we're so close to that right now. Now, I know the interest rate hike hasn't happened, but I think it's baking in. And so we're going to be watching to let you know here on this channel when we've hit a good buy opportunity from multiple sectors, multiple shares, multiple companies. Now, again, when interest rates go up, typically if you're in materials, industrials, uh, energy, financials, you do better than technology. So we're seeing a lot of sell-off in these technology shares, but honestly, everything is being sold off right now. There are very few companies that are not in the S&P 500 that are not seeing this happen. So we're going to continue to uh, look at what we're doing and share it with you here as the markets are opening on today. I just wanted you to understand support and resistance, what's going on. We're not just haphazardly making decisions about when to buy. Well, hope you got something out of this. Hope you will consider subscribing, liking, commenting on this channel as it helps me with the analytics and the algorithm of YouTube. And I'm so greatly appreciative of you being a partner with me on this channel. Have an absolutely great day. I look to talk to you again very soon. Be blessed.